Sheng Tao, the mayor of Oakland, California, has finally spoken out after being raided by the Federales. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about 38-year-old Sheng Tao, the mayor of Oakland, California, who has been raided by the FBI, USPS, and IRS. Yes, I said United States Postal Service raided her home along with the IRS and the FBI. Now, million dollar question, why is this happening? What's going on? What is the deal with Oakland, California? Well, the allegation against Shane Tao, who is, by the way, the very first Hmong minority mayor of a major U.S. city. And if you don't know about the Hmong, these are an ethnic minority in China. They also are in Vietnam and Laos, but anyway, she allegedly engaged in the pay for play scheme. Okay, you guys want a seat on the administration? Well, I might need a little bit of money to my campaign. Okay, this is kind of reminding me of the woman over there in the Midwest in Dalton, Illinois. Y'all know I'm talking about. I forget her name right now, but y'all let me know in the comments. This is reminding me of that same situation, but on a much larger scale. You're talking about some of these little small townships in the Midwest versus major city, Oakland, California. And then on top of her home being raided by the feds, there's also the recall effort, which has been successful. They have the signatures and people don't want her there. Now she claims it's a right wing conspiracy, but yet Oakland and California in general is a very leftist place. So the people that are saying that she needs to get out of there are not these right wing quote unquote nut jobs. These are, her constituents, her fellow leftists. And since when was it going to be a, a right-wing conspiracy theory to get the federales involved? Last time I checked, the federales were ruled by the left at the moment. Now, before I go any further, let's get into a few clips. Of course, I will link to everything in the box. But without further ado, what we're going to do right now is show some of her comments. Then we're going to show some comments from a former chief of staff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. After days of silence, a defiant sounding Oakland mayor stepped in front of cameras at City Hall today and declared she's innocent. And I want to be crystal clear. I have done nothing wrong. I can tell you with confidence that this investigation is not about me. I have not been charged with a crime. Last Thursday, federal I mean, yet, yet, just because they raided your home. Look, the raid just happened on Thursday of this past week, and today is Tuesday. So it, it just happened. So don't don't get, you know, too ahead of yourself now. Agents took multiple boxes with unknown items from Tao's Oakland home. Today, in her prepared statement, the mayor is questioning whether the agents had probable cause. She's also questioning the timing of the FBI search, which came just a day after those looking to recall the mayor announced they had enough signatures to trigger a recall election. Now, look, just because you're being raided at the same time a recall is going on does not mean that it's some kind of conspiracy. Look, she just became the mayor in 23. She was elected in 22, took office in 23. Here we are in 24, and she might go to the penitentiary to make big rocks to little rocks, or at least she won't be the mayor anymore. She says the reality is that she's being targeted because she didn't grow up rich and privileged. I want to know why. The day following the qualification of a recall election, funded by some of the richest people in the Bay Area, seemed like the right day to execute a warrant. NBC. Now, there's a whole big statement from her. She talked for a long time for some reason. I don't know why she would do that. If I was a lawyer, I would say just <laughs> stop talking. But during her um, reaction, she was saying, basically, I'm the victim. Has learned the search of Tao's home is part of a multi-agency investigation that includes the IRS and the United States Postal Inspection. Agents also searched two homes owned by members of the Duong family who own Calway Solutions. That's the company that holds the city's recycling contract. Now, the Duongs, before they get into that, I guess I might have been part of the pay for play. Hey, we're going to get this contract and we're going to give you some money in return. Allegedly, that's kind of what I'm reading. But these are allegations that apparently are being taken pretty seriously because we got all these alphabet letter organizations out there trying to get some information. 
Tonight, recall organizers and supporters are fighting back against the mayor's claim that right-winged forces are fueling the recall effort. Now, let's see uh, what this young lady right here is holding this sign. Uh, you see the Pinocchio emoji, which denotes lying next to Shane Tao's face. And then the sign says, Mayor Tao is cutting public safety, fire, and medical response, city services. I have no power over, we have no power over the FBI, sure the IRS. The U.S. Postal, Postal Service. Service. Those signatures that we gathered were not based on some kind of conspiracy. That's right. These are people, common everyday people. Recall supporters are also questioning how much the mayor knew prior to the FBI search in calling for her immediate resignation. Oakland is headed for bankruptcy. We are not going to survive this administration. We cannot afford to keep her in. I think we all know what's going on. Like the, the city is dealing with crazy crime. And I think people like this just come in, unfortunately, to engage in some fleecing. All right. The city's going down into, so we might as well just loot it while it falls. While the FBI, FBI hasn't linked Mayor Tao to any kind of wrongdoing, the former confidant of the mayor spoke out. And then they said I met her at her birthday party that she had up in Montclair. Rania Webb worked closely with and had access to Shang Tao that few people had for a year and four months. Webb served as Tao's right-hand person, working as chief of staff when Tao was the District 4 council member. Webb says she volunteered and spent countless hours on Tao's mayoral campaign in 2020. 22. She says she also led Tao's transition team after Tao won the election. A lot of what's coming out now is the reason I resigned shortly thereafter winning the election. She was more sad than surprised about FBI agents raiding Tao's home on Thursday. I wasn't surprised. I was like, finally. Finally, the truth is coming out. Webb accuses Tao's boyfriend, Andre Jones, of being the mastermind. So you see my man right there. You see him. So basically... She's saying this guy back here, the, the brother, this guy was a mastermind. Okay, you're going to get in office. You're going to be the front person. And what I'm going to do behind the scenes is allegedly engage in these pay for play schemes to generate us some revenue aside from what she would get paid as the mayor. This is American greed at a certain point, but I digress Pay to play schemes during Tao's campaign for mayor and after she won. <laughs> I had found out that Andre, her boyfriend, was promising people jobs in our administration, promising people appointments on different commissions and boards. So when you making the promises, I, what I would presume is the promises are being made after a certain amount of money is contributed, uh, donated to the campaign. And that's why you're going to have to feds rating because you can't do that. You can't sell positions like that. From out of the mouths of people that told me they were promised positions, they were promised board positions, and at the mouth of what they would always, Andre, you know, that was who they would say, Andre promised me this. Webb claims Jones was controlling and calling the shots. She says Tao went along with him. It's sad. He's making her do things, pushing her to do things that I don't believe she would do otherwise. Now, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in absolving her responsibility because ultimately we're talking about two grown adult people. All right. So we ain't talking about a minor. We ain't talking about somebody that's disabled. We're talking about two full grown adult people. So if the boyfriend's doing wrong and she's doing wrong, then they are doing wrong. It ain't just a one-sided thing. Now I'm not sure that um, this woman was saying that specifically, but I wanted to clarify that. So there's no confusion. I just really don't. Webb says Jones and Tao met when they worked for council member Rebecca Kaplan. Jones was Kaplan's chief of staff and Tao was an intern. When I first mentioned to Shang at the house that got raided yesterday, that people were coming to me of, you know, what Andre had promised them. And her response to me was, just ignore Andre. You're going to be making close to $200,000. Just ignore it. And it just hurt my heart. So there's more to the video, but I will link to everything in the box. But you see kind of what's going on right there. Shing Tao, the first Hmong mayor of any U.S. major city, it might, might now go to the penitentiary to make Big Rocks, Little Rocks. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody out there who does not engage in fraud, who does not engage in pay for play, who is not engaged in corruption. And for you guys living in Oakland, I, I mean, if it's me, I'm, I'm jumping the ship.
obviously the crime's out of control. People are getting deleted left and right. You can't even go to the Whataburger or whatever y'all got out there in peace. You can't go to the Starbucks. You can't go to the Target. Everything's closing. People are just kind of in survival mode. Corruption is crazy. Like I would just go somewhere else. Obviously this place, this city is not the place to be at this moment. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's happening here with Shang Tao and the alleged pay for play scheme that has apparently caused her to get raided by the federales? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I am no fan of corruption. If you're engaged in corruption, you're engaged in crime, and you're supposed to be running the city. Look, I need you to be held to the to, to the maximum, okay? Be held to the letter of the law. Don't let it be in two and three tier justice system. Let everybody be up under the same rules and the same laws, including this woman and the boyfriend and anyone else involved. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.